Welcome back to the platform Humble Beginning. My name remains Ben Millers as your chief host. In case you have forgotten, we have been talking with uh, Professor Duro Oni. Okay, this is uh, the one time uh, deputy vice yes, chancellor yes. of University of Lagos. University of Lagos remains to today, remains first choice university in the whole Nigeria, University States of Nigeria. So, can we please welcome back Prof for this final segment. Please, Prof, you listen to that beautiful music put together by BMK Media Production, and the music is titled, Don't Despise Your Days of Little Beginning. You know, just like all that you've been talking about just started from somewhere. So. And that is what we are sharing today. So, what is your take? What did you? What, what moral lessons about the video? Thank you very much. Apart from the fact that the music is a, quite a beautiful music, you know, it's very rhythmic. The message in the music and in the video is very important to human existence. In my own view, I've always been someone who thinks that you know you can have a lot of book knowledge you can have a lot of academic knowledge mm. but perhaps more importantly is that you should try and develop a skill you must learn some kind of a trait yes you must be able to do something with your hands also now there are people now who can make clothes there are people who can play the piano, who can play musical instruments. There are people who can tie gele, just these head ties. There are people who can make hair. There are people who can do a lot of things. So apart from whatever knowledge that you may have and you have gained in the world, you should always learn a skill. That skill has helped a lot of people in their survival in this world. I've seen a few people yeah. in some of my travels all over the world. And you will see them, they just open a small barbing salon. Meanwhile, the fellow is a physicist. He's doing yeah. his job as a physicist yes. or a chemist and he has a barbing salon yeah. on the side. So, you know, whatever you do, or some people will make clothes make clothes for themselves, yes. make clothes for family, and make clothes for friends. Yes. All of those are skills that people learn. Yes, for some who are in the creative arts, what I tell uh, my students in the theater is that, yes, you are a theater artist, you are an actor, you know, yes, you are a good actor, but there are also people who didn't study theater arts that are also good actors. All right, so, from your learning of theatre, what else can you do? Aside. Aside from yes. that, can you play 
any musical instrument. Yes. If you can, it enhances your career. Can you ride a horse? Can you play polo? What mm -hmm. else is it that you can do that would enhance your life? That is what I always find very interesting. When we were in the drama school, in the theater school, everybody wanted to be dancers and actors and stuff like that. And then we felt that, look, why don't we do something? That's how come I specialized in lighting design. Because it's not just anyone that will start trying to do the lighting for a production. Yes. It's not everyone that can hold the camera and start recording a video. No. So you must have that skill, that little extra that you learn. Apart from being an actor, you can also take photography as a hobby. You can do a whole load of things. You know, that's what I learned in that video. And that is something that agrees very much with my own philosophy of life. That you must have something extra that you can give to this world and you can give in this world. Thank you, Prof, for that wonderful uh, uh, comment about the program, about the music video. It is no doubt that the music video is demonstrating our skills, is demonstrating what you can also do aside from education. Because sometimes it could be, uh, you could reap from those hobbies. And that is the, the, the moral message of that uh, um, music video. Please, let's come back to some aspect concerning you once again um will anyone would want to ask in what other ways have you affected the economy the nigerian economy through your profession well what we've done has been in capacity building we have been part of the process of enhancing the capacity of nigerians in terms of training in terms of education, in terms of acquiring skills, mm. uh, just uh, during the COVID exercise, I was uh, in consultation with uh, Bolale Ostipitas of Terra Culture. Okay. And she was gathering some young people to learn certain skills in the theater. Those skills that go beyond acting and dance and all of that. Yes. So learning skills, decoration, stage set, stage lighting, video recording, mm. costuming, mm. hairdressing, and all of those things. I was a part of that. Mm. Can I believe that this is the kind of way that you can impact on the upcoming generation? You know, we say the young people are our future. Yes, but we must equip them adequately for them to be part of that future that we are all looking forward to. So that's the way that I try to do that. And then in my own little way, if there is a, an ability to assist other people, yes. I also try to assist them. Now, some of that assistance may not necessarily be on a financial basis. Yes, sure. For some, it is counseling. Yes. What course do you want to study in the university? Do you seek some kind of guidance before you fill that jam form. Okay. Okay. It is not when you have filled the jam form and the UTME results are out, then you now say, oh, please, if they would admit me for any course. <laughs> no, it doesn't quite work. What is important is that you come, yeah. you seek assistance, then we say, look, what are you good at? What are your best subjects? Are you a science person? Are you in the humanities? Are you in the social sciences? Mm. What kind of course would you do? What kind of background do you have? Would you be better off in engineering? Or if your grades will not catch up to engineering, would you want to do the basic sciences? Or are you more in the humanities? The humanities Academy of Letters. What are your what are your subject areas that you are best at? Are you a literary person? Do you write poems? Yeah. Do you like to play musical instruments? How do you enhance this? How do you take this forward in terms of your academic endeavor? Yes. And when we have been able to, to, to help people in that regard, you find out that they get in. 
very easily into the university system. There are parents who say, oh, I'm a lawyer. My son should be a lawyer. Or I'm a doctor. My son should be a doctor. Mm. All right? Or I'm an engineer. My son should be an engineer. Yeah. Now, what is that child? What is that child talented in? Capable of doing. What is that child capable of doing? All right? There is no career. There is no area of human endeavor that is not useful. Okay. The thing is to find your own place and key into it and then you find out that it flows very well into whatever you do in life. Yes. Please viewers, you heard it now. Okay, we are going to take another break. A short break. When we come back, we will continue. You are welcome back to our studio. In the previous episodes, we had our guests pick some lucky persons to benefit from their wealth of experience through mentorship, empowerment, and guidance. One of the beneficiaries has something to say. Good day, everyone. My name is John Kemakon. I want to use this opportunity to appreciate God, who has used Chief Doctor Godwin Ifai in Chukwoka for the CEO Winko Firm Industries Limited for rendering financial aid and sound business advice in managing my company in difficult times like this. I am one of the beneficiaries of Chief Godwin Okafor Goodwill Benevolence through humble beginning platform organized by BMK Media Production. Indeed, Chief Okafor is generous, a mentor, hardworking, a caring father who guidance has helped my company in many ways to pick up again since after a breakdown. It is a great privilege to know this man. Thank you, Chief and BMK Media Production for this divine connection and may God reward you endlessly. Thank you. You are welcome back to the platform Humble Beginning. This is the aspect. This aspect is Touch Life. This is the aspect of the media productions where we use to put smiles, use those success stories we have gathered from our guests to mentor the audience, to empower the audience, to motivate the audience, to tutor, to educate, to touch life, to change orientations of the mindset economically, politically, educationally, uh, name it, even psychologically. So, sir, this is the aspect. Um, we want to introduce you to what we call BMK Media Box. So, in the box, sir, we have names of people, some people we intend to, you know, help in one way or the other, just mm -hmm. like the program. The program is to touch human life economically according to your strength okay through your success stories now you see the way you were able to change someone redirect someone to the root and the person is happy today and that is what this program is all about so we are going to introduce our bmk media box and when we bring it please join hands together as we bring bmk media box please Clap your hands together, please. So, Prof, this is our media box. Yeah. So, in this box, we will open it because there are a list of people, names of people, those whom we have verified in one way or the other, those we have visited in their places where they live to discover that they actually need some orientation. So, Prof, this is the box. Okay. You will just pick one person sure. and uh, and you tell the viewers the, the name of the person you pick and I return the box. No? Yes, Prof. Okay. You pick someone. The name picked from the box is Mudashiru Tohib 
Abolaji. My name is uh, Odashi Koyi Abolaji. Um, I would like to be honest. Though in 2019, I took my first jam and I was able to score 233. I put in for the post jam. I went to the school to write the post jam. And by, with the help of God, I gained admission into the school to study education and economics. But due to my financial constraint, that is my financial status, I was unable to I was unable to I was unable to act, I was unable to, to I was always and I was I was I was unable to to cut the admission given to me by Taishula University of Education. Then in 2020 I took another jam. I was able to score 234. I chose the work my Wallow University as my first choice. Then I put in the same course, economics. Then I took I've written my post jam last Monday. But my financial constraints still remain the same. But I believe in God. He's going to provide and help us. Um I would appreciate any help given to me by some expert, by some heroes towards achieving my dream to become an economist just like one of my mentors um, Thank you Thank you. Can we please put hands together once again? Uh, Prof, you are welcome back. We want to hear from you what is the, sto the story uh, with uh, the person you pick. Tell the viewers they would want to know. Uh, Mr. Mudashiru Tohid Abolaji has recently applied to Obafemi Awolowo University with a UTME score of 234 and has also done the post UTME. So what is left now is to find out about his admission status. Now we do know the people running the Abafema Wolowa University. I do know personally the Vice Chancellor. And we can find out what his admission status is when it is time for the admission. Yeah. And if uh, the young man is able to get in, yeah. you know, and be admitted to the university, then we will see how to support him. Please to put your hands together. This is what this program is. Thank you. We will see how to support him throughout his uh, four year. What, please? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Prof, thank you. Please uh, don't go away. Um, does he have number there? Some yeah, there's a, there's a phone Please. number. Yeah, Prof, you can yeah, give him a call and he will be waiting to uh, the, to hear this from the horse's mouth. And uh, that is what this program uh, intends to achieve. That is the vision of this program, to link people to destiny helpers as it is happening live and direct. Hello? Hello? Is that uh, Mr. Mudashiru Tohid Abolaji? Yes, sir. Okay, my name is Professor Duro Oni of the University of Lagos. Okay, I understand from a television program that you applied to Obafemi Awolowo University to read the economics. You had a UTME score of 234. What about your post-UTME? Okay, so you don't know what your admission status is. Okay, I would uh, link up with the television people. And if you are able to secure the admission, 
then we will see how to support you for your four year program at the Bafemi Awolowo University. Alright, so the producers will get in touch with you so that you will let us know as soon as you have uh, gotten your admission to Obafemi Awolowo University. Alright? Um, okay, uh, Tohim, what have you to say about this happening now? What have you to say? Because you're hearing from the horse's mouth, life and direct. Thank you, Toib. We, 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 we are sure that God of luck is on your side. He has already challenged you, and we pray that you from now don't relent. The problem is no longer how to uh, continue with your education. The problem now is just in your hands. So you need to go extra mile to make sure that you excel in your exams and the academic status. Is that okay? All right. Thank you. Are you happy? All right. Thank you. You are welcome on board. God bless you. Please, can we put right. together? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Abolaji, I wish you the very best. Okay, and I hope that you are able to secure your admission. All right, then. Take care. Bye. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. I, I will save his number. Yes, sir. And then you keep the number also so that e you can also exactly keep me posted. Exactly, right. exactly. Because the essence of this program is to link, okay, so that people can have a feel. There are people that wouldn't have this privilege. Of course, it's not easy, okay. But God has made it possible, and this is the vision of this program, humble beginning. Um, there is a saying that. You have to stoop to conquer. And uh, we pray for you, Prof. And uh, God will continue to bless you mm -hmm. and uh, grant you your own heart desires, especially long life. That is what we now mm -hmm. desire mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All your children will be praying for you so that you will live healthily, health and healthy. That is our prayer. Your, you will age by grace. That is our prayer. Amen. So God will remove sickness from you. That is our Amen. prayer. Amen. Even your dream, you have other dreams, they will all come to pass. This Amen. is our prayer. Amen. And the BMK Media will continue to promote your work at any time. When those publications are done, we will also use our channel to bring it out to limelight. And that we can do uh, okay. for you sir so we are happy with you because you have been able to do us proud you have make us happy thank you sir for this wonderful program because this is the dream of this program you have honored us god will honor you back sir. Amen. Yeah, welcome. So, hello viewers this is where we draw the curtain of today's episode i hope you've learned a thing or two from this program please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. From us at BMK Media Productions, we say stay safe and God bless you.